All right, we're doing more Danganronpa. We are starting chapter five. We'll see how far we get. Mukuro Ikusaba. What's that? Did it get? No, it didn't get louder. I am streaming for two hours today. And then I'm stopping. Oh, that's right. Okay. Mukuro Ikusaba. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. I'll do what I want. You can't boss me around. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuro Ikusaba. That was three days before the next incident. Three days before we would be faced with another murder. Hmm. I, okay, I see red painted nails. Hmm. Okay. All right. That's nice music. Just two hours? It will be. <laughs> One second. My game capture. There we go. It blew up, like, most of the screen. Okay, in the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, that morning in the dining hall... Hmm. So, let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Huh? Hey, you didn't make any small talk or anything. We never get just straight to the point like that. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. Ah. Jeez, how high is that horse of yours? Well? He just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I like to think, anyway. Hmm. Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep behind... Oh! They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. In the name of my family. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Huh? That's a weird that's a weird thing to say. Ragnarok, thank you for the lurk. Hey, Toko, you've been pretty quiet. Whoa! Yeah, I, so... Woo! <laughs> Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. Gonna start calling you Miss Mushroom. I like What's her not deal? talking. She didn't snap back at you. Hmm. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. Huh? <laughs> what? But if she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. Hmm. I don't care. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? <sighs> Jeez, how long is that rock? How low is that rock you're hiding under? <sighs> I believe this is a small talk Byakuwa where it warned us Come against. Come on. And yet, I let myself get involved. But it is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me down to your level Let's again. Let's go. We're going to begin our search. Stop running your mouths and start moving your legs. Jesus, dude. Pressured by an obviously irritated Byakua, we all started our exploration. So is Toko going to get killed next? Because she can't speak? Is her weird obsession with him to the point of... Oh, that's leaking through the box. I put the tea bags in this box, and it's just... I'll turn it. There we go. I didn't. I keep forgetting to bring a trash can down here. Um, yeah. Is her weird devotion to him going to be extended all the way to not saying anything when you're getting fucking stabbed to death? Who knows? Let's see here. Third floor, fourth floor. Don't remember much about this game, to be honest. Ah, shame. Let's see. Data lab, is this? No, this is still going to be locked for sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The headmaster's office was locked. Obviously, that's still going to be locked. The music room was unlocked before? I don't remember. Yeah, no, this looks familiar. I think we had a conversation in here. I don't remember with who. I don't remember anything about it. Before you started playing it, you are going to rewatch the series. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. No, I've been in the office. I've been in here. Okay, maybe I should just find the stairs. I don't think these are going to be... Come on, turn. I don't think these are going to be unlocked. Okay. Hmm. 
so tasty. Oh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. The fifth floor has been opened up to us. And it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up till now. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. Really? It looks charming as shit, dude. I don't know. Maybe I just like plants. A little tasteful bamboo. What does that say? Nighttime secrets? No more. He's so dirty. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I want free things, please. No? Okay. Let's leave. And what about this one? Uh, catch me if you can. It's Makoto. Wait up. I'm going to punish you. Gross. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Does she want to talk to me about something? Toko, what's wrong? <laughs> Is she trying to say something? Dude, come on. I think she's almost just a little more and I might get it. She's not going to talk. I'm sorry, but I have no idea what it is you're trying to tell me. Just write, dude! She let her shoulders drop. She looks so sad. I guess she gave up. You know, if you didn't suck so bad, I would feel bad, but I really don't. I hate you. I really do hate you. Hello. Um... This floor feels different compared to all the others. I'm not sure what it is. Is there some reason for that? I hope it's not anything too creepy. I, it's probably creepy. It's probably creepy. Okay. Why is it red and not pink? What is this place? <laughs> what the hell is this? The grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. What I saw was bad enough, but what I smelled, it was sour. Pungent, impossibly, impossibly rank. It smells awful, doesn't it? It's, it must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around your fair share of corpses. Hmm. Are you saying it's the smell of death? Their flesh and fat and blood. Jesus. There was no surprise in his voice, no shock. But he was right. I had experienced the smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. Hmm. But the smell here is strong, condensed. It's the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have... Hey! Come what? On my now. fault again? <laughs> Stop trying to blame everything on me! If you hadn't done what you did, this would have never happened! Unbelievable. No, 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 it's quite the opposite. The opposite? Now then. Yep, let me give you an itty-bitty e e g squeegee little hint. As far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. <laughs> How's that for a hint? Better than those stupid hints you get from NPCs and those uh -oh. mean old RPGs. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the wall and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody gruesome deaths every I day. I can't wait! I can't wait! So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. Oh. He just left it the way he found it? What's the meaning of all this? I have bit my tongue three times in that fucking sentence. Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> god damn it. The first time I was like, just ignore it. Nope, just ignore it again. Ow! <laughs> There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever against such a ghastly hmm. sight. It appears all the blood stains are dry and their color has changed as well. I think it's... Excuse me. I think it's safe to assume these stains are considerably old. This is all really blood? <laughs> of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. <laughs> and it is interesting, I assure you. What on earth happened in this classroom? He seems like he's enjoying himself. No way I can... No way can I keep up with someone like that. Yeah, he's a uh, fucking creep. The taste of... God... <laughs> 
No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have, anyway? Hmm. A nice little token in there, though. See, it says eye for an eye. It don't say nothing else in the room, so that's good. Hmm. There's white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of a thing on detective shows and stuff like that. You always see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I didn't believe it. No, I want I want to talk to Byakua. There we go. Um, Byakua, what about Monokuma? What about what Monokuma just told us? It's like I'm not even here. He must be lost in thought. Is he really thinking that hard? Or is he just flat out ignoring me? I mean, it could be both, honestly. Um. Hmm. Yeah, there's a couple bodies. Just a few little fellas laying around. Bros hanging out. It just says raw, which I don't like that. Rattle, rattle. You came all this way just to be denied here. The sign in the hall says biolab. A biolab. That's what we're forbidden that we're forbidden from seeing into. Kind of sounds like something out of an old cheesy horror movie. Oh, there is another room though. There are another couple rooms. What the fuck am I? There we go. I am playing a dumb useless guy. True. Absolutely true. <laughs> Hello. Okay. So there was like a dojo, which... Sorry, Sakura. Probably would have loved that. Oh, it's so nice. It's so pleasant. Look at that. Oh, was it another... Oh my god, I just realized. It's so much better with the mouse and keyboard for looking around. Oh my god. Jesus. Was that another one of those stupid um, bots? Oh, look at those. Damn. What's this? Wizard, thank you for banning them. Get out of here, you damn bot! There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. Does it control the air conditioning or something? <laughs> it's for the sprinklers. Sprinklers? <laughs> yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. <laughs> okay, so that's obviously going to be used as one of the next murders. We know that they had to have been killed around this time. Because, um... Sorry, I'm taking the thing off my controller. Or it's going to be like, your alibi doesn't work. Because your your shoes were wet, which means that it had already the sprinklers had already gone off. Maybe something. Of course, the setting... Uh, sorry. The setting panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. So that means that the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning? <laughs> yep, you got it. It's super user-friendly, which sucks. <laughs> so if you get here too early, you'll get drenched, so watch yourself. <gasps> Bet you're not a little... But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through sprinklers anyway. Disgusting. Or do you have some kind of weird water fetish? <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone. I'm. Yo. Hmm. At first I thought I saw blue skies, but turns out they just painted the walls and ceiling. You know? Oh, but the plants are all real. It's been a while. Boop. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. What the heck? That's. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? It's there, just beneath the surface, beneath their calm exterior. They're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth the anymore, they'll put their plans for global human extinction into action. I mean, true. Well, I'm serious. See, this is why I like Hero. He's fucking dumber than shit. <laughs> I love him. Hmm. Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? Is it housing chickens? 
this place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like they don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that? It seems safe. Hi, chicken. It's a chicken. It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. No, oh, am I... Are one of these going to be fake? Am I going to find a token in it? I like people dumber than I am, and you know. <laughs> okay, interesting. Notice, observing. Yeah, let's step away from the chicken coop, I guess. <laughs> oh, you like chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them. Exactly? Hmm. Five, you know, the number that comes after four and before six? At least, in terms of natural <laughs> Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains the mysteries of the I'm cosmos. at least 30% right. It's a number of power, a refreshing number on par with hand-squeezed all-natural lemonade. He never lets me get a word in edgewise. What does that even mean? Edgewise. I've heard that so many times. Hi, big thing. What is this? This thing is super weird. Super creep. What do you mean super creepy, you fucking weirdo? Flowers aren't supposed to get that big. Just accept that it's neat, you dumbass. God. Watch out! What? That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it and you're in for real excitement. Your heart's all like, whoa, and the plant's all like, snap, and your flesh is all like, bleh, I'm dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> It's pretty frickin' amazing, if I do say so myself. A student at Hope's Peak added improvement. A student at Hope's Peak added improvement after improvement and created this miracle creature, the ultimate botanist. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. Actually. By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Well done. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. <laughs> Not that I'd know anything about that myself. Okay. Spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. What do you mean, whatever it is? <laughs> whatever it is, I better keep my distance. Let me pull this fucking token out of it. <laughs> Just to be sure, I should look in that tool shed. It's tool time. This place totally, nope. This place seems totally disorganized. From a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools, and leaning against the back wall. Is that a pickaxe? Oh my God, it is. Weird. Some little terracotta pots. So many flower pots, big ones, little ones, any size you might need. I only see one size. There's a lawnmower here. Even with this here, who's actually going to take care of the lawn? Hey, nice. Nice. <laughs> Crazy diamond. Huh? There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond? I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Oh, is that... Is that what's his name's baseball bat? I don't remember his Leon. Hmm. There are four. No, there are different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? When it hurts you to do some work, huh, ma, 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 Makoto? Bags of fertilizer are piled up. There's so many different kinds to choose from, and some tokens. Oh my god. Just so many tokens. I'm gonna make a stream where it's just me redeeming things in the token area. All right, we are good here. Excuse me. Wait, are you calling that pickaxe a baseball bat? I'm thinking I remember Crazy Diamond was the name of Leon's baseball bat, wasn't it? Am I wrong about that? Is there a way I can check? Let's see here, X, report card. Are there any notes on Leon? I don't think so. Hmm. 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 
turning into a Minecraft villager here. Bam. It was easier to use the mouse and keyboard, but I feel like it's a little more like... It looks a little less smooth. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to keep using the keyboard. Controller. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's pretty. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. The wooden lockers and keys remind me of a super old school public bathroom. It's a straw pot. Nope. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here too? I mean, probably. Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's a cherry tree planted here, and it's in full bloom. Hey. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. What? How would you not? I lived overseas for a long time, so this kind of Japanese scenery is refreshing. But considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? Who gives a shit, dude? It looks nice, you fuck. <laughs> fuck you, Makoto. Appreciate things. That target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. <laughs> hey. What Kyoko told me yesterday. What the heck did it mean? Nukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. I think it means what the it sounds like. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch oh, out yeah. for her. Uh, Kyoko? I'm not gonna say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up to the surveillance camera. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that wherever, whatever it was, it was important. A mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So then. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand anything better. Anything any better than before. Okay. You gonna talk shit about this tree too? Hey. Oh, okay, you're just gonna In say the exact same thing. Okay. Hmm. A suit of armor is on display. It's extremely Japanese. It's so fucking Japanese. Like, fuck, dude. It's super Japanese. <laughs> Weird thing to say. I guess I've seen what there is up here for now. But once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. Did they turn up for... Turn turn down? Turn, turn, turn down for what? Turn up for what? Turn down for what? What is that song? I'm not, I, I'm not gonna look it up. One after another, everyone made their way into the dining hall. What's that song? It's bugging me now. Turn. Uh, turn down, right? Turn down for what? Okay, that's what it was. Jesus Christ. And before too long, hmm, it would appear everyone has returned. Be back, food? I. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball just team. Just a second. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still field a baseball, a basketball team. Hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. <laughs> anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. <laughs> can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Discovered. Yeah. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front to back. That used to be kind of. That used to kind of. Wow. That used to kind of be Sakura's job, mm. but anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere Correct. else. 
which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor. So, um... But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. Yeah? What exactly did you notice? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? So Why do you then... ask? Because if you did, you must have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every other room has. Bathrooms? Stairs. <laughs> okay. There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Huh? Does that mean the fifth floor is the Correct. end? We're finally starting to get a clear picture of the school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. Where's... What's her name? No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out of here, no matter what it takes. Oh. No, there's Toko. Hey. My concern is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Mm. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be... If this were, like, a cliche horror game... It'd be some kind of creature, a final boss, or tyrant, or... But... We're not in a horror game, though. Hm. Either way, we don't want to worry... Uh, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood, no matter how much you think about it. Naturally. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well... Well... I am so sorry. Jesus, can I not yawn anymore? I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably what? right. No, how I said it is right, too. <laughs> what a dick. Hm. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no, strange is a massive understatement. Hm. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. What? What? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> the smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's everybody's smell concentrated. Huh? God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So in other words I could only think of one thing. A large group of people died right in that room. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> a bunch of people were killed in there? Stop. Seriously, I'm gonna throw up. It can't be. Perhaps that's what's meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. In human history, though? Come on. Come on. It's not just that. Yeah. <laughs> You're thinking the same thing, then. My theory is the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. That awful scene in that room. That was the tragedy that happened a year ago. In other words. Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's it's true. All clear now. That would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. <laughs> They're right. It's beyond awful. It's terrible tragic, hopeless, but still. How is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Oh my god. You know? Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. Monokuma said that was called a monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. For serious? It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm sure it's different from the ones that live in, live in the pipes, though? Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh, yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 hmm. on the dot. Yeah, I remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch the cold. Yeah! Well, if you don't, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Hmm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? 
What the heck? Hey, come on. You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But if it'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb huh? question. So, what was the question again? <sighs> don't worry. You just answered it. God damn. <laughs> hey, Byakua. Uh, Byakua. It seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because <laughs> you told her to zip it or whatever. <laughs> ah, I'd forgotten about huh? that. Jesus, man, I know you like torturing her, but come on. Hmm. Well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. Jesus. <laughs> you honor me, master. <laughs> she hasn't said anything all chapter. It's been 30 minutes. It's been real nice. Literally the first thing she says just hurt my fucking soul and d don't worry i took care of the uh, odor problem <laughs> <laughs> seriously you're just gonna take it <gasps> shut up heck? and don't interrupt me when master and me are talking um master and i hmm. okay so what did you want to tell us <laughs> while i was in a classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention it was this a knife oh, oh that thing is huge it's like rambo what? size it's a survival knife of some type but what was it doing in a classroom oh, well. how would i know very suspicious very suspicious what are you gonna use that knife for what are you planning to do to us i'm not gonna do anything i just picked it up I didn't want to leave a knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, okay. <sighs> Listen, more important, now that we have the knife, what are you going to do with it? You know? We can't let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. She has her fucking scissors, and she seems to kill just fine with those. So... Give her a fucking gun. It doesn't change anything. <laughs> What's your problem? I don't want it anyway. It's too dangerous. Oh, what to do? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Huh? Me? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd totally trust Makoto to take care okay. of it. Then that's that. Hold on. I don't get a say? It's all clear now. It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> okay. So here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. F fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it on my in my desk drawer for now. <sighs> Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> hey, Toko. Uh, do I still have bad breath? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry it sinks. Oh, my God. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm not. <sighs> I want to scream, but. <sighs> Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. Yeah, same, honestly. Are we fucking done? I can't go running off now? Why? Wait, did I not talk to you? Yeah! Oh, wait, no, yeah. Mm, correct. Yeah. <laughs> I talked to everyone. Did I not talk to you? Hey. No, I talked mm. to you. <laughs> Do you want me to talk to you again? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we were talking about this. In other words. No. What am I supposed to talk to you again? <laughs> ah! Uh. Maybe we should leave her alone yeah. for now? Yes. Anyway, it's settled. Uh, what do you want me to... You know? Oh, I didn't... I didn't... I didn't you know? uh, talk to Hiro about the rest of his things. There we go. The chicken coop. There are a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Mm. That's right. Five. Five chickens. Toku's a bit of a weird champ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love chicken. Look at all them chickens. 
Let's raise them up big and fat, then we can make fried chicken. Oh, or a barbecue. Oh. Ah. Oh. Or how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw. Uh. I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. Okay, we just have one you more know. reaction from him. The tool shed. He knows the two, huh? That pickaxe. What? Huh? What about the pickaxe? Well, there's a pickaxe in the tool shed. And the words crazy diamond had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. It was Leon. I'm pretty sure it's goddamn Leon's baseball bat. It's true. I don't think I know. We've definitely seen that phrase huh? before. Huh? Where? Oh, that's it. I remember. Oh. Oh, it was on... Ah, fuck me. Whatever. It was on Mondo's uniform. On the back of his jacket. Is that a JoJo's reference? I have no idea. I still need to watch JoJo. I've watched like three episodes. <laughs> his jacket said Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Mm. But why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Could it be? Mondo must have snuck in there and done Not it, right? possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here and Monokuma confiscated it? Whatever the reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected hmm. to Mondo. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Huh? Yep. Then what? What I noticed was the lawnmower. I'm thinking maybe we can use it to call for help. Huh? What the heck? I don't know. Maybe we can use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to make crop well? circles. And we can use those to call for help. Hmm. I... What... He... <sighs> you know? Well, back then, my personally... Oh, fuck. Well, back then, my personality hadn't quite solidified uh. yet. I didn't think it was possible. And I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, I think that's all the new information we have for yeah. now. So, <laughs> now what do we do? Hmm. Well, starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're going to bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um. So, what is it you want to figure out? Hmm. Kyoko's identity. Huh? Well. Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko's Kyoko, right? <laughs> yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having to be selected. Oh, no. Is Kyoko gonna die next? Wait, no. Because that corpse we saw didn't have burned, fucked up hands. Unless it's just on the other. I don't know. I hope she doesn't die. He is the ultimate swimming pro. Hero's the ultimate clairvoyant. Even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, <laughs> but. So what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? She's uh, ultimate detective um, dummy. Now that you mention it, she's never told us. Hmm. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. It's a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? <laughs> I don't trust any of us. Go fuck yourself. We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. <laughs> What? Why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? So... What do you mean? Because I don't remember. Oh, okay. What? I have no memory of what I am. Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is very suspicious. You can't be serious right now, can you? Ooh. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us. Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What are you going to do? Torture me? <laughs> Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear. I now. will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage any further. To engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give up. 
give me the key to your room. But if she keys, gives you the key to her room, she can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. Hmm. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. That's a threat fine. like that? Fine. I understand. Hmm. Good. You're finally in the mood for a conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked right up to Byakua, held out her room key to him. It can't be. You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, um... Maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um... If you really think about it, doesn't sound totally impossible. Sorry. This is the worst school ever. Where only the worst stuff happens, right? Amnesia would totally fit in. I mean, However, true. The worst school where only the worst things happen? Do you really mean that? Huh? Uh-huh. Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk away. Come on. Huh. Light, how's it going? How have I been live for an hour and only just popped up? It does that sometimes, it's super weird. I'll be sitting there and it'll be like six or seven hours and I'll get an alert that Gonzo went live. It's like, what? <laughs> Goodbye. Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. I think I have a little tea left. Yeah. Oh my god, I still have another cup. What the fuck? Nice. How have you been doing, Light? The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What the heck? What's her deal? What? I think you went too far taking your room key like that. <laughs> For her, that wasn't far enough. <gasps> Or maybe she gets off on the attention. Oh my god. Stop talking. You're getting noisy again, Toko. Good. Come on. Sorry, I can still hear you. The sound of your breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Hey. Are you telling her to die? I mean, to know how you feel, but... Yeah, no, she can go die. That'd be dope, dude. I don't want to... S I don't want to hear her anymore. <laughs> ah! Uh, it's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura, and I I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. <laughs> what? What? Uh, um... What the hell? What are you yelling all of a sudden? I mean. Oh fuck! Hi. <laughs> what? What? Uh, too? How long have you been standing there? <laughs> I'm very, no, very I'm angry. Angry. I'm sorry, man. Huh? Angry at what? Yeah. At the thief! Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief in your mists. Huh? Mists. Hey! My precious! Stole it. God fucking damn it. Banana! Hey, hey. Byakua, could you just stab Toko right now so we can get two nerds out of the way, right? God damn it. <laughs> your teacher had such faith in you. And this is how you repay me? With betrayal? Betrayal? <sighs> Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Um... But what the heck is your precious? Yeah. Shut up! I hope all of you get stuck in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the streets. <laughs> what the heck? And he's gone. What the heck was that all about? So, um... Said something about his precious getting stolen. Does anybody have any idea what that might mean? Hmm. It likely has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing to be would be willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Hmm. But if that's true, what was it? <gasps> and why would she do that? You like Monokuma? It's pretty cool. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially right. night time. God damn. Yeah, Soon the doors to the dining cup. hall will be locked. And oh, his voice actor. Yeah. Strictly prohibited. Yeah, his voice actor's good. Oh, yeah, I bet light. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. 
All right, Monokuma. Um. Uh oh, we need to get out of here. You know? We can talk about this tomorrow and about Kyoko. Hmm. However, however, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms. Don't go wandering well. around. Not like we need you to tell Goodbye. us that. Well, then, let us disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. So, does Kyoko, for some reason, not have to sleep? Because she didn't seem tired when she woke me up that one night. She asked Monokuma, what did you do to my body? And she doesn't have a memory. <sighs> Is she a robot? Is she a robot? Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. A robot? Those damn robots! Coming, to, and our, coming into our schools! Corrupting our youths! Okay, yep, put the knife away. I think the safest place would be in my desk drawer. But anyway, is Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she going to do? Isn't there something I can do? Something I can... I was like, what happened? <laughs> Well, good. Good light. <laughs> As I opened my eyes, I realized I had fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I hear the doorbell? It sounds like you did. <laughs> hey. Kyoko? I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Hey, wait, Kyoko! Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but... I can't just not go. Oh, my neck. God damn. Hey. Wizard, welcome back. What'd you get for food? Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used Correct. to it. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean... Does this have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? So... I stole this. <gasps> a key? But looking at it, I couldn't tell if it was just any key, if it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It's probably the only key of this kind on Earth. Where did you get this? So... From the headmaster's room. <laughs> what? You snuck into the headmaster's room? But wasn't it However, locked? The lock was broken. What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. Oh, dude, Sakura's such a badass. Sakura's such a badass. Oh, my God. Had a chicken patty and mac and cheese. Nice. Nice. Indeed. Remember what she said in her note? I'm not going... I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's That's room right. for us. That's right. So that we could so that we could uncover whatever secrets may lay hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this Indeed. place. I noticed the room was after open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why. I used you as a decoy. So I asked you to meet me at the data center in order Correct. to... Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mukuro Ikusaba. Sakura was a real one. The 16th <laughs> student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Delicious. Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were there? Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mon M Mukuro Ikusaba is dangerous. Dangerous? In other words, she may very well be the mastermind. But didn't Alter Hugo say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? 
I don't have any proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without any proof, it's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ikusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway. Anyway, this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's... <clears throat> Slung in my throat. Sure, but I mean, what's this key even so... unlock? I don't know yet, which is why I need you to draw... Draw Monokuma's attention again while I go and find out. Hydrate before I... Dietrate. Mmm. <laughs> God damn it. You can't. That's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention? But we don't actually know that there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching us. Right? But they didn't catch us last night, right? Maybe we just got hey. lucky. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run an experiment one more time. And if we're successful again... <laughs> then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. <laughs> no! Hiccups. So that joke is bannable. No, wait! <laughs> hey. If it's true that the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have to be a period of time where the mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's true, and we can exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what... If I yawn one more time, I'm going to bludgeon myself with my microphone. I swear. No matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think what might happen if we fail. Why is that? I don't think you need to worry all that much. After all. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. <laughs> no restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery. Am I wrong? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. <laughs> but if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us without a second thought. I see. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. Correct. What? In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words. In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now, there's no reason not to do it, right? If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Okay, so why didn't Sakura just bludgeon Monokuma to death if she was already fighting him and then kick all the doors in? Just be like, no! <laughs> We're figuring this out. Blah! <laughs> we know the danger, but if that... Ri uh, yeah, no, I hey. said that. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized. I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze... I didn't yawn, I swear. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. <laughs> I'm gonna go stand outside in the cold real quick. It's like 20 degrees. That'll wake me up. Give me two seconds.
Okay, hopefully that helps. I think I need to, like, start getting more sleep at night. <laughs> that might help. <sighs> then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's it's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. <sighs> She's going to die next. If something However. happens... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it. And a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it just because you asked me to. But I'm not gonna but I'm gonna give it back at some point. You can be sure Indeed. of that. Yes, hey. of course. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because there's a chance the mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Sleep usually helps, sometimes I guess. Huh? You mean there's something else? Wow. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I can't just forget so that easily. Then. Okay, then shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best goodbye. shot. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different than any other time. Any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time? was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's going to be fine, I know it, because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety, and then I got to work. Anxiety. Anxiety. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here, I've got a bone to pick with you. Then a few moments later... Monokuma appears! Well, 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 this is a surprise, you being the one to call me hey. out. Hey! Hey, by the way, uh-huh. Most What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse, just the two of you in the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet. So wet and warm, I bet you guys. Removed to conform with local and international censorship laws. All over her, didn't you? <clears throat> Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. <laughs> because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X rated exploits. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Wow. Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Sounds like that's the bullseye to you me. You need something? Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out here. Now, what do you want? Oh, well, um, it's just something I want to confirm Say with you. What? Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella. Actually. But in the bear kingdom, there is no male or female. Uh, actually, there what? is. Seriously? My entire existence. <laughs> then what am I? This is kind of depressing. That's enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask you? Ask me? Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me. You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or earth sign breeding tips? Yeah. This is just crazy. Are all pre <gasps> are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as what you? God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and... What was that second thing? Yeah. It's a blank, stupid, a secret. Fill it in yourself. Ah, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> Making me trudge all the way out here for that? I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open your skull, skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Whew. I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko, after all. <clears throat> yes. 
I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. You, you gonna pick those up, or can I take the? Monokuma <laughs> Theater, brought to you by Spike Tune Soft Company Limited. Okay. Whoa. Wait. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Time for an anime showdown, I guess. <laughs> Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been canceled. Of course, if enough people buy Danganronpa, who knows? So buy your copies and tell your friends! Oh god, I didn't read it fast enough. This super stylish, super fashionable game was canceled during development, but it'll start back up if Danganronpa then sells you guys well. Have to recommend it to your friends too. <laughs> Looks like someone made this in. <laughs> Dude. Awesome. Good. Is he everyone. drinking wine? It is Did now I just 7 notice that? AM, and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Beautiful day. My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. Yes, yes. Leave the area. What happens if I try to go into someone's room who's dead? Oh, I'm fine. Can I search the room during free time? Just snoop around? Oh, cool. Kyoko's not here. What? You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great What's today. What's your problem? You're really... You really think a tired excuse like that is going to work? Huh? huh? Are you allowed to talk <laughs> again? I don't recall giving you permission. <laughs> I just thought since a day had passed, it had maybe reset. Huh? Hang a sign from my neck that says, Bad girl, clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. <laughs> you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Yeah. <laughs> Won't make any more disgusting pro uh, comments? I fucking doubt it. If I do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. <laughs> <sighs> it's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. So, yeah. Um... Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be? Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Um, Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reasons, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so. You know? Oh, yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Are you looking for Miss Kirigiri? What? What? <laughs> What do you want now? Hey, hey! I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? D do you know where she is? Ooh. Well, it's hard to say. Huh? huh? You don't know either? What? It's because he doesn't know. What? That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is? And they name some indie bull crap? This is very suspicious. I feel like I'm getting whiplash. The way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? Hey! Hey! So, was I right? 
<laughs> You're looking for Miss Kiri Kiri. Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. We have no idea. What the heck? And even if we did know, we wouldn't what tell you. Heck? For serious. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers. As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. Hmm. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um... Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how do you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't, keep Very suspicious. can't seem to locate her. Yeah. How can he not know where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Nice, peaceful music. Uh, breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than me, just me staying up late last night. Free time! Okay, I'm gonna save. Because I always forget to save before free time. Oh, sorry, god fuck. Okay. Leave the area, yes. First, I want to see if you can go into rooms of people who are dead. No. Rattle, rattle! Too bad. That would have been cool. I want to go to the store. I'm going to spend a few. The store is here, right? No. Cool. Found it. Oh, hey, there's going to be tokens here, right? Nice! Hi. <laughs> so we're going to get a few of these. And then we're going to go spend free time. I think we'll go hang out with Byakua because I'm pretty sure we're close to getting him to level 5. I don't think I've gotten that. No, I guess I did. The repeat didn't go up. 76.3. Okay, we got that. We can't use it. Because that would have been Celeste. Hey, that one's new. I'm still bummed out that, um... Oh, nice, a Lucky. I'm still bummed out we didn't get Celeste to level 5 before she died. That sucks buttholes. That sucks. Major butts. Okay. Let's, um... Use more tokens. See if we can get past that repeat. Oh, nice. Lucky. No. Alright. <laughs> let's see here. Let's get it to, like, a 50. A little over 50. 40. There. If I'm going to spend this many tokens, I might as well get into the 40s. You bastard. Hey, the nice thing, though, I know Byakuwa loves the Civic Coffee. So, you know, whatever. Oh, that's new. Nice. I was hoping if I went to the right, it would... 45. God, that is so unlucky. Hey, that's lucky, though. <laughs> nice. And? Hey, no? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. What's going on here? Nice. No, got that already. Okay. Hey, we did get a new thing, though. That's cool. I'm just going to get it to 50s. It doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. Double lucky. What are the chances? What are the chances? God damn it. <laughs> Fine.
Okay, we got 43 left after this. I know the Naruto clip? What do you mean, the Naruto clip? What Naruto clip? Damn, I've gotten like 80 of those. Alright, burn the rest of the coins on this one. Come on, baby! Um... Dang. Too bad. Alright, let's go. Yes. So, Byakuo, where are you? I'm gonna save again real quick, just in case I do fuck something up with this conversation. So I don't have to go back through all of those. Byakuo! Where are you at? Baby cakes? with Toko. Alright. Um. Hi. Hi what? there. You put it in the memes? Okay. Let's see here. I love it. God, I forgot about the the rain trio in the tuning exams. It's been so long since I've watched the tuning exams. Mm. Those are some big old plants. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Double lucky. <laughs> what? Did you need something? Uh, should I talk to Biaku? I fucking guess. That's fine. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge my attention. Okay. We're a little closer. Yeah, let's give him a present. Let's give him some of that. Um, cougar poop coffee. This is... You bastard! How did you get your hands on this? Naturally. <laughs> okay. So, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Uh-huh. What? It's a proverb. It means you can only obtain something inferior that's still better than longing for something. That if you can only obtain something inferior, that's still better than longing for something better. Yeah, I know what it means, but so what? So in other words... Put another way, if all you have nearby is a loser, that's better than a proper assistant far <laughs> away. Makoto, be my secretary. No. <laughs> a useless commoner like you could never hope to earn more than, say, $100,000 a year. But as my secretary, you would be guaranteed an ample salary and job security for the rest of your life. Would that be worth putting up with him? You probably wouldn't be able to quit because he would probably have you killed. So maybe no. Maybe the answer is no. Only thing you think of when people say get lucky. <laughs> And in honor of it being my birthday today, how about I multiply your already impossible expectations by, oh, 5.5. $100,000 times 5.5? You mean $550,000? I had to stop for a second. I was like, oh, fuck that What? Of course, as my secretary, you wouldn't be a mere servant. At some point, I would want you to become an actual assistant taking the lead on important projects. Assuming you produce acceptable results, you could even become a core part of the Takami Corporation. So in other words... You have no reason to refuse. This is all so sudden, I don't get why, but he seems serious about it. Still, I... I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to say no. I'm trying to give you a chance to enter the battlefield of life and claim victory. Most commoners will never get that chance. 
This is literally a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Do you understand? This is your chance. This is your one and only chance to rise above the 99%. So that's it. Are you really so scared of having to fight to compete in order to win? It's not really that I'm scared. It's that I want to succeed based on my own effort. I want to find my own battlefield. I don't want it handed to me. I want to earn it. I want to find something I'm willing to fight and die for. That's the only way I'll be satisfied. I would take... Work... Work... Work for him for a little bit. Make that money. And then say, fuck off. I'm going to go do other things. <laughs> then you meant what you said earlier. That if you can live a life that you're satisfied with, that's all that matters. I see. <laughs> I'm glad to see you pass my test. Oh, I would have failed that test. Okay. Naturally. That's right. The mere thought of someone like you as my secretary makes me physically ill. Wait, what? so then... The salary offer still stands, of course. It's yours if you want it. I don't need you spreading rumors that Pyakua Togami doesn't honor his word. So he'd basically be paying me to do nothing? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> In a way, I almost regret my decision. I I regret your decision vicariously. <laughs> I'll regret it for you. But I must say, I just don't understand you. You don't want to fight, and yet you don't flee from the battle either. It's like I said, for me, happiness becomes... Oh, happiness comes from living the life I want to <laughs> live. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Interesting. I can't speak. Now you have to enforce your will until the very <laughs> end. If you can do that, if you can make it to the end, I'm afraid I'll be forced to acknowledge you. Then that's exactly what I'll do. Someday, <laughs> absolutely. I don't expect much from you, but I'll be waiting. Okay. <laughs> Maximum number of skill points has increased. Okay, I thought I would get a cool skill at least. Dang. All right, let's see. Is he at a five? He's got to be at a five now, right? This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. Uh-oh. Gaming. Thank you for the lurk, man. I hope you're doing well. Let's see here. Oh, he's still not out of five. That 100% seemed like it would have been a five. You're doing well? Good. All right, I'm going to save again. Let's go find him. And I'm going to look up what the gifts are because I can't remember for shit. And I don't want to give him something crappy and ruin everything that I just did. Hope you're well as well. I am. That is a lot of wells. We could open up a business. Just selling wells. But you know, not like not like we're going to go dig wells. They're wells that are already constructed out of brick to certain dimensions. And then people just have to kind of figure it out. Just, Just like... 50 foot of well. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Danganronpa. I'm not looking down. Biakuya gifts. I don't think I typed that. Oh my god, I did. I typed it perfectly. I'm I'm a prodigy. I'm an absolute prodigy. Just skip past where he shows up in chapters so I don't spoil things. Okay. A crystal skull. I'm pretty sure I have one of those golden airplanes, so I can give him that. Perfect. Too much well for you? Not enough well for me, honestly. <laughs> Where is he? I want to stop having to talk to him. All right, there he is. He's goddamn Toko again. Wait, are you in the bathhouse? What room are you in? I hope you're in the dining hall. Oh, God. They make me uncomfortable. I hate them both. But he's the closest I have to getting to level 5. Hmm. And I seriously feel like he's gonna die soon. If Kyoko doesn't die this chapter, he's definitely gonna... Wait. There's only six chapters. I don't think this has a happy ending. I'm going to assume, like, everyone dies, or everyone except for one. Hmm. Hmm. He just said I make him physically That's ill. Fine. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks, guy. 
All right. Grew a little closer. Let's give him a gift so he can talk shit to me again. All right. I'm looking for a gold something. I already forgot. A gold airplane or something. Bunny earmuffs? Do you think he'll like that? Oh, I don't have any golden guns left. Okay. Oh, I think old-timey radio was something he liked. Yeah, old-timey radio. Cool. Yeah. This is... You bastard! How did you get your hands on this? <laughs> he's, he's treating it like the Civic Coffee. Bro, you can go pick one of these up on eBay for like 40 bucks. Calm Natural. down. Jesus. Calm down. <laughs> How do you still not understand? Understand what? Hm. I've been sacrificing all this valuable time of mine for your sake, but it's all amounted to nothing. We simply have nothing to talk Not about. Possible. We could talk forever in a day and I would gain nothing from it. But the more we come to understand each other, the more I hate you. You and I will never understand each other. We live in different worlds. Our way of life, our way of thinking are totally incompatible. You're a loser. So go ahead and lose. <laughs> go ahead and live your loser life. Make a bunch of loser friends. Then together, you can all lick each other's loser wounds. You don't have to keep saying That's loser. Enough. Whether your self-indulgence is a lie or not, it doesn't matter. Whatever happens, I'm going to keep on fighting. And I'm going to keep on That's winning. That's right. That's one thing that will never change. But having to win all the time, doesn't that make your life kind of hard? Hm. Such is the fate of the Chosen. The Chosen. Listen, I've been meaning to ask you. You keep talking about the Chosen. What does that mean exactly? The way you say it, it seems a lot heavier than how I'd normally think of it. That's fine. Fine. If I'm going to waste my time with you anyway, I may as well explain this one last thing. I'll tell you how I became known as the ultimate affluent progeny. <laughs> Such a little shit. So yeah, you killed your words... siblings or something. Whatever, I don't care. It has to do with the secret to the Tagami family's prosperity. Our success comes from our family's rather peculiar inheritance system. Peculiar? What do you mean? Hmm. You see... Our family head never takes a wife. Rather, he couples with exceptional women the world over in order to bear as many children as possible. <laughs> God damn hmm. it. They then make the children compete, and only one can come out on top. And whoever it is earns the right to become the next head of the family. <laughs> That's right. For my battle, there were 15 of us in total. When all was said and done, only one was still standing. The youngest brother, me. <laughs> In the entire history of the Tagami family, the youngest male had never won. Jeez, that sounds brutal. I can't even imagine something like what? that. So now you understand. I won my title in open combat. That is how I became the ultimate affluent progeny. I was not born into greatness. I had to earn it. You were born into it. and You just had to fight some people. You had to fight some kids. In other words. I could fight kids. I put my life on the line, and I earned the right to be called the Chosen. You put your life on the line? Then what about your siblings? Dead. Called it. A mini Hunger Games, <laughs> but with Stop rich, talking. spoiled kids. I don't mean that literally, of course. They became dead to the family, unfit for the name of Tagami. Oh, who gives a shit then? Oh, no. Either... I become the richest person in the world, or the shithole family doesn't recognize me. Okay, cool. Of course, for them, it really is like death. They're forced to become one of the 99%, one of you. Hmm. You can't even imagine how hard it was, which is why the survivor is recognized as the chosen. When you take over as the head of the family, all the weight of that family comes to rest on your shoulders. So, in other words... That is how dedicated I am. I am forever dedicated to keep on winning. And so I shall. <laughs> Otherwise, I would feel only pity for those I'd already defeated. Byakuwa pretty much said he carries the weight of always having to win. Excuse me. Winning comes natural to him. <laughs> All I'll say at this point is that I'm going to win this game, too. It's been a long time since I... Uh, it's been a long time since I've had so much fun. I need to get as much enjoyment out of it as possible. Don't make me repeat and myself. in the end, doesn't even matter! I will stand victorious. I won't lose to the mastermind or you or anyone else. 
Even as the rest of you fall one by one, I will live and I will win. In the name of my family. As long as my name is Byakua Tug... <laughs> you stutter there? As long as my name is Byakua Togami Tagami. I even know his name. I feel like I made this moment lose a little bit of its edge. <laughs> the finality of his statement left no room for doubt or question. Nobody but Byakua could talk that way and sound so convincing. But because it's him, it seems possible that maybe that is his fate. Honestly, the more I talk to him, the more I see how far apart we are. At the same time, I feel like I understand him that much more. At least I think Goodbye. I do. Now let me be crystal clear. We no longer have anything to talk about. Do not come to me like this again. Cool. Yeah! Report card's been updated! <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Wizard. <laughs> the name of the achievement is The Game Hungers. <laughs> For getting him to level 5. <laughs> Awesome. Wonderful. That's great. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at that shit right here. The game hungers. God damn it. Oh, it's out of order. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. What happened, bro? Did you get poisoned? Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I feel like my body reached its limit. Yeah, you got drugged, my dude. You're not you're not a sleepy little fella. You got drugged. <laughs> it's more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say I was restless. <laughs> At some point, I found myself still wandering through a strange dream. Shaking my head, my head. <laughs> and within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under understand. That voice, it's so familiar. I and it's... understand. It's me. I understand. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Uh-huh. What am I trying to hope. say? This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. Yeah, you lost me, dog. My dream just now... What? So strange. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, fucking Christ. Hi. <gasps> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> is it going to be 30 minutes of panting? Can we stop? Christ alive. Mm. Is the heater in the school broke? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Yoko? What the... What did you... What did you say? Every day is peaceful, every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom, repeating forever and ever. No abnormality is as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. Yeah, how many goddamn drugs is he on? <laughs> Needs to stop hitting that. Okay, Monokuma. It's time to wake up. Good or, morning. Yeah, okay. I slept through the 
night announcement. Jeez. Gurn. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Huh. Oh. I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy. They, all, they had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either. It was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? It was pretty fucking weird, bro. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reel them back from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. Oh, great, we get to see him pant again. Came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I heard a voice I didn't really understand. And then... All of a sudden, I was awake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a luchador mask. And they were holding a knife! I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own. And because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember, <laughs> I, did, I turned into a ghost. <laughs> Kyoka was there. But what would she have done? Oh, what if she? What would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream! No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? Is the knife still there? Yeah, the knife's gone. It's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange, because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife from Toko in here. Wait, that means. The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, that makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And why was that behind the mask? Who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. Yeah, probably not. You're dumb as shit, dude. You're dumb as fuck, bro. You're actually... You're actually... Big Papega. Big time. Dried brain. Tiny, tiny dry brain. Smooth. Tiny, smooth, dry brain. You know how usually things, like grapes, when, hey, when they get dry and they wrinkle, they get more bumps, more folds? Not him. It's smoothed out even more when it dried up. What am I saying? Ah, oh, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky is blue. Hey, Hina. The fuck is up with her? I never wake um, up. You really had me worried, you know? What happened to you last night? Worried? I mean. Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know. <laughs> I mean, not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. They didn't care about who I was until I put the mask on. <sighs> well, why did you guys come to get me? Did something happen? Uh, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really okay. explain. Let's go meet up with everyone else, and they can tell you all about it. Everyone else? So is everyone waiting somewhere That's or something? Right. Oh, yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost at rock, paper, and scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you just got here in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up. I'll meet you there. Weird. Weird. Do you think that gives you power? <gasps> Maybe. Where the fuck is the gym? I can never remember. I feel like it's not on this floor. There we go. Found it. All right. We're going to figure out what everyone's doing in here. We're going to save, and then I'm going to call it a day. And I'll be playing this again tomorrow. Ah. Is Kyoko in here? I couldn't see. Ah, there he is. Huh? Oh, hey, this Makoto. This is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez. 
to show up now like it's no big deal. You made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed. Just like Hina said, everyone was here besides Kyoko. And then I noticed they'd formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was, before I could catch myself, I cried out. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, wait a second. Oh, damn. <laughs> Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> She's not even faced. Hmm. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? I'm... Makoto, freaking chill! <laughs> Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Mm. It isn't. What do you want us to say? Hey, come well, on. I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto. Because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Byakuwa found this little fella laying around. Then we tore it apart. That doesn't really explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here just like normal. However, <laughs> when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You say he wasn't moving at huh. all? I waited until nighttime officially began, but still, Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so I could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So immediately... So I immediately initiated the disassembly process. <laughs> it was Master's stroke of genius, a chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. Hmm. One, oh, one thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote, remote controlled toy. Well, no shit. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a hmm. sudden? I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break so down, in other words, then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind, something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something <laughs> unexpected? <laughs> They're probably so scared of Matt. Oh, shut the fuck Could up. It be? Or maybe they got sick or something? But... No. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that, if not the mastermind? Hm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set on a timer and plays as necessary. Mm. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, hey. right? Hey, guys. I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. You know? I just found something. What is that a bomb? I think Rachel just got home. Me. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Kay, it's just a bomb. It's fine. Huh? It's what? Hm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? what? Oh! That's super bad. We need to get rid uh, of it. Um. Uh, roger that. <laughs> it appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements and it's sure to go off. What? what? Oh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Just a second. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? That's toxic. I, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh, oh. You're so not fine. You're all... Uh. <laughs> oh, I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> 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 Fucking douche. Don't scare uh. me like that. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. He was Don't holding be a mean. bomb, bro. Just casually a bomb in there like nothing's wrong. Hey, come on. The century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. <sighs> Whatever. Just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hanging on to it's not going to do anyone any uh, good. Um. Oh, yeah. Good call. Well? What's that mysterious ticking noise? I wonder. 
Do worms have spines? What if they did? Ugh. Gross. Gross. I guess they'd just be like snakes at that point. <laughs> Yeet it out of the mastermind. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's down. Everything's all good. <laughs> Here, I put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at this point, which is strange. My eyes were glued to the Monokuma's <laughs> glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they all weren't expecting? But what could it have been when I thought about it? I couldn't help but think back to the night before, being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto? What? Hey. Don't. No. Uh, don't huh us. Did you hear a thing we just said? Huh? Mm -hmm. So that's a, no. What are you, some kind of brain dead farm animal? Sorry. Mm. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive it's assault. It's all clear now. To try and uncover the mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the mastermind comes back while we're in there. What? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. <laughs> what or the heck? Such ignorance. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. Uh. How to eat fried worms, worms, Danganronpa edition. God damn it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away or are you going to fight? You're right. I'll go it's with you. It's all clear now. Okay, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. <laughs> okay, shut up. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. That? That's when she just gets all roided out. It's like, <laughs> tears the walls off. Not even the doors. Tears the walls off of the doors. God. I can do this. I'm a man, and I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. We found deter determination in our own ways. And when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. Okay, it's letting me save. Perfect timing, too. Because we are almost right at five minutes. It's only been two days, though, right? He said it was three days since the worst thing that's happened so far. So... I still... I don't know. Maybe it's been three days. I don't know. I feel like we're going to find a dead body in there. And if it's not Kyoko, then it's going to be... Hmm. Is there going to be another class trial? Or is Monokuma really gone? Hmm. Hmm. Five minute stream. <laughs> I'm, I'm, hmm. I don't know what's gonna happen. I guess we'll find out.